ring the bell, and here we go. Can't find a home for that jab. You can't throw out a lazy jab in this fight. You're going to get knocked out. Couldn't land that jab. When you're fighting a counterpuncher, the feint can be such a good weapon. Pretend you're going to punch, make the counterpuncher throw a punch, and then you counter them. Counterpunch is my favorite kind of fighter. A good counterpuncher, they're the people that make the history of our sport. How about that time counter shot? This fight a little bit closer than I think a lot of people thought. Nice idea, and that hook lands. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Nope, that jab not going to score. This fighter is all about finesse, using a lot of angles and lateral movement. If you want to corner an outside fire, make them fight off the rope because they don't want to do that. They don't want to stand still. They want to move left to right. Pin them down. Is this the beginning of the end for Muhammad Ali? And right back into the fray. What caught sleeping on the job? What? You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Counter shot lands. Let's talk about Alexander Usyk in that last round. Well, it's no secret who has the advantage after that. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Coming off that great round, let's see if they can build on momentum here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. And he wasn't ready for that counter punch. They exchanged punches. Both men stepped back for just a moment. The courage on display here is incredible. Well done with that counter shot. Can't find a home for that jab. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. Good fight so far. Both of these fighters have had their moments. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what? I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. The unified heavyweight champion is down. I don't know. I got to take another look at that. You're right, Todd. What a shot. but didn't stay down. Once again, showing you how much grit and courage this fighter has. Todd, he's up. I I'll be surprised if he makes it back to the corner. And if he does, will he get back up from the stool again? That was a shot. Final 10 seconds here. Unless we get some late drama, I think we all know who won this round. Punch, counter punch. Let's talk about Alexander Usyk in that last round. That'll be a 10-8 round for... And there's the bell to start the round. His eyes look pretty clear here, Johnny. How do you think he's going to do after being knocked down in the last round? What a knockdown. One minute, you need one hour to get over a shot like that. Now it's down to conditioning. Now it's down to mental strength and preparation. It's how you are going to deal with this. for that receipt it's always coming 
They call it the glory division. There's nothing quite like a heavyweight fight. It doesn't take much to win it. How about that time counter shot? They better start respecting each other's punching power. The winner of this surely will get a world title shot. Well done with that counter shot. I can't believe we're only halfway through the round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. How about that time counter shot? They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing up and they're walking you down. It's so demoralizing. It absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. in that last round. I promise you, all three judges here. And there's the bell to start the round. This fight has been very one-sided. What are we going to have in this round? Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Threw the hook, it didn't land. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will when they hit be a lot harder. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics, they know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. And shoot. Tough to be a judge in this fight as both fighters have had their big moments. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. A straight right just misses. Nice counter shot. And he misses with that straight left. This is and he wasn't ready for that counter punch. Missing with the hook. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Good counter punch. A perfect counter shot. Let's talk about Alexander Usyk in that last round. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the... We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Well, Johnny, can he keep the momentum going after that last huge round for him? Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses how do you deal with it i've never seen a fighter so fast in my life how do you deal with this you've got to hope you've got to hope they run out of steam he has to be careful for that receipt it's all the greatest has been dazed muhammad ali in trouble looks like they've shaken it off now they've got to wake up, they've got to get on the back foot, clear the head a little bit, then jump back into it again. It's all about the hustle. Get back on it. Halfway through the round, and it's pretty much even Steven. Perfectly matched. 
skill for skill, tap for tap. Now, this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. That counter shot lands. Trying to land that jab. Nice counter punch right up the middle. counter shot we'd like to see more jabs big hook thrown but it doesn't connect this round still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go Alexander Usyk in that last round. Well, it's no secret who has the advantage. They ring the bell, and here we go. After a really strong round, let's see if they can finish the job. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing, because you've won that hands down. How about that time counter shot? This is the heavyweight division. One punch could end this fight. Let me explain to you about a fast fight. A fast fight that's got hand speed and footwork. They're relaxed. They're confident. They know they just have the quick burst. Boom! In a split second, they've let four shots go. Their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are so relaxed. And that's why they can maintain this all the way through a fight. That hook was off target. They drop their guard, they get caught. Do you believe what we're seeing? And that right jab just misses. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. That counter shot lands. Let's talk about Alexander Usyk in that last round. That was almost a 10-8 round, complete. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. They've got all the momentum on their side after that last round. Let's see what they do here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Someone use a jab here to establish a boxing presence, but no, they just want to fight. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Well, Johnny, has anything surprised you here as we enter the final frames of this battle? Todd, you know what? Sometimes when a brother in the ring with fights like that and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? Halfway through the round and there's not a lot separating these two. A very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. exchange here from both men failing to score with that right hook that counter punch caught him clean you couldn't write a script like this 
This is like Rocky versus Apollo. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. That counter shot lands. Every time they drop their guard, they get caught. Let's talk about Alexander Usyk in that last round. I promise you, all three judges here are going to give that... The bell to start the round. That round was complete domination. Let's see if we can shake things up here in this round. Todd, my motto is if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Nice counter shot. As we enter the final frames of this bout, Johnny, what have we seen so far? This is when you get in the ring feeling like a King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. By the way, the connect percentages have to be off the charts. How about that time counter shot? Caution is being thrown to the wind. Real good back and forth between these two fighters. One punch could change the entire complexion of this fight. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Well, just a couple rounds left, Johnny. What's your assessment so far? This can be so frustrating when you remember such a fast fighter. Fast fighter that can throw three, four shot combinations before you even let one off. That creates frustration, and that's when it gets hard. Every time he throws a punch, a receipt is coming right back. You can't make a mistake at the heavyweight level and not expect to be punished for it. Let's talk about Alexander Usyk in that last round. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. They ring the bell, and here we go. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Nice counter punch right up the middle. Left hook just missed. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Beautiful counter shot. And just as quickly as the action slows down, it heats back up. Halfway through the round, I'm not sure who's winning it. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Well, Johnny, it's still early on, but what do you think about what we're seeing so far? I've seen some fights with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer. They are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punches with a chin like a cliff. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger spot. There's a counter shot. Throws the jab, but it doesn't score. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. And he wasn't ready for that counter punch. Let's talk about Alexander Usyk in that last round. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just... We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. That last round was huge for him, Johnny. How does he keep the momentum going? Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. 
wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. Every time they drop their guard, they get caught. That hook just can't find the target. confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those pop areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and pop them, skin them, go for speed. That counter shot lands. Punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. A perfect counter lands. You don't want to trade shots. They are not going to let this one go to the judges. Nobody home with that hook. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Let's talk about Alexander Usyk in that last round. That bell could not have come sooner. They ring the bell, and here we go. Well, they got battered last round. How do they turn their fortunes around? That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on you, and that's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. That counter punch caught him clean. Every time they drop their guard, they get caught. Time they drop their guard, they get caught. Well, Johnny, we're a couple rounds in. What are you seeing so far? Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind of protecting everything around that. Work the body, use tactics sometimes to so hard to actually have boxer fight and beat them on points. Catch and shoot. A perfect counter shot. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Missing with that jab. This is one of the best rounds I've seen this year. This is a you-hit-me-hard, I'll-hit-you-hard type of fight. <laughs> Having a hard time finding a home with that right uppercut. A very competitive round. Usyk! Talk about Alexander Usyk in that last round. Well, he is in big trouble here. And there's the bell to start the round. After that last round, something has got to change. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. Well, Johnny, we're in the early stages here. What have you seen so far? Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're going to find out. They both want a knockout, you can tell. When are we going to see a jab from these two? 
How about that time counter shot? Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. Well done with that counter shot. Someone's will will cave, but which fighter will it be? You can't make a mistake at the heavyweight level and not expect to be punished for it. What do you think of this fight so far, Johnny? That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. jab in this fight, you'll get knocked out. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always... Some might have thought the fight a little bit closer, but the judges are in agreement. A unanimous decision win. 